Hi everyone, welcome to another devotional. It feels like forever since I have filmed uh, a devotional because we were on break last week because of our virtual VBS. Um, so I'm now in the book of Romans uh, for my personal uh, just devotions time. And uh, so I wanted to talk about a couple different verses um, that just stuck out to me and really uh, resonated with how I'm feeling right now. Um, so I'm gonna start in chapter uh, seven at verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am of the flesh, sold under sin. For I do not understand my own actions. For I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. Now if I do what I do not want, I agree with the law that it is good. For now it is no longer I who do it, but the sin that dwells within me. For I know that nothing good dwells in me that is in my flesh. For I have the desire to do what is right, but not the ability to carry it out. For I I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do not want is what I keep on doing. Okay, I feel like that's a tongue twister, um, that chapter, or that section of verses right there. Um, so specifically, uh, verse uh, 18 and 19 um, just really stuck out to me recently because I've just been like not having the motivation to like do what I should and I'm starting school back up in September and I have negative 100 um, motivation to do that. Um, so it's just been like a weird like a lull of not feeling motivated and not being able to endure and persevere. And I read this and I was like, oh my goodness, this is, it's not a good thing, but it's a normal human feeling to want to do what is right or want to do what needs to get done, but you literally are just like, I don't have the ability or the capability to do this right now. Um, so when it said, for I have the desire to do what is right, but not the ability to carry it out, for I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do not want is what I keep doing, literally me right now. Like, just dumb things that are just would make my life so much easier but I just don't do them for example like even just like reading my bible every day I know that that's what I need to do I know that I 100% have better days and feel better when I'm reading my bible and yet I will wake up and be like mm, I don't feel like doing it today and then not do it and then feel crappy and be like hmm I wonder why or just like simple things like eating healthy or exercising or going to bed at a good time like I am in a vicious cycle of like going to bed really late and then sleeping in and then hating my life and hating myself for sleeping in and then doing it all over again the next day like literally in the moment you're like ugh why did I do this I'm never gonna make this dumb decision ever again and then like a few moments later you're like let's do that dumb decision again um so i feel that a lot of the time so these verses they're like not necessarily encouraging but sometimes it's encouraging to me just to be like oh wow okay like paul struggled with this like he got it he understood it and sometimes the bible just clearly explains human um nature and it's just I guess a comfort to be like, oh, I'm not the only person who's felt like this, cool. Um, but then jumping to chapter eight, verses um, five and six, it says, for those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the spirit set their minds on the things of the spirit. For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. And so to me, that's the antidote to the way that I'm feeling right now. Um, if I'm not, if my mindset isn't on God and I'm not um, daily spending time with him and just um, feeding my spirit, then obviously I'm going to feel this way because I'm living according to the flesh. And so I need to be in tune and in step with the spirit so that he is able to help me get through these things. And like Paul said earlier in like, uh, chapter 7 that we literally don't have the capability to do these things there is nothing good in us anything that is good in us is from God because we are created in his image and so it's just a great reminder to me that I need to be seeking him and asking him for help daily not even daily like every minute because me as a human I'm just not capable of these things I can't do it of my own strength I need him and I need to follow him and seek him wholeheartedly in order to defeat um, my flesh because my our natural state as 
humans is sinful. Like anything good that we do is purely from God. So if I'm not in tune with the spirit and in step with him, then obviously I'm going to resort back to my normal natural ways, which is to be sinful and to uh, act according to my flesh and what I want to do, not what I need to do. Um, so I hope that, that was a reminder uh, to you just to be seeking God wholeheartedly and living according to the spirit and not according to the flesh. And also just an encouragement that if if you're going through a lull right now or you're just not motivated or the end of the summer is just depressing you and you don't feel like doing anything, you are not alone. Um, I think a lot of people are feeling that way right now and I think the ends of seasons tend to make us feel that way, um, especially the summer because we all know we have to go back to reality um, in the fall and especially during this time that we don't get to go back to normal life like COVID is still continuing which is a major bummer um, and can be very discouraging and it's hard then to endure and persevere. So thank you so much for uh, tuning in again and we will talk to you guys later. Bye!